right, it's been a long time coming, guys, but you know what? It's here. Beyblade X. The next generation of Beyblade is here. Now, before we get to unboxing this and, well, going forward with the video, I bet there's a bunch of you guys who are asking questions and scratching your head thinking, Zaxiku, why are you making a Beyblade video when you're a Sonic YouTuber? Well, allow me to tell you a story, young one. Those of you who are new, by the way, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Zaxiku, and I am a former Sonic YouTuber who does Sonic plush videos and also skits, as well as comic voiceovers. But before all of you got to know me as Zach DeCute, the guy who makes the Sonic videos, some of you who have been here since the very beginning of time where this YouTube channel was created back in early 2016. Actually, no, mid-2016 because it was May. Anyways, back to what I was saying. People who have been here for a long time have already known that I was also a Beyblade YouTuber. Well, I wasn't up there in like the leagues of like former Beyblade YouTubers who you may know right off the bat. But I did try to do Beyblade because when I wanted to do YouTube, I wasn't really sure of what I wanted to do because that's why even if you go to my earlier videos on YouTube, you'll see like I have a bunch of streams of me playing video games and maybe also a couple of just random crap that I've uploaded. But for the most part, if it wasn't Sonic, it was Beyblade and my goodness, the metal, it's back. Let's take a step back now. First off, we had the Plastic Generation, which was before my time, before I was even born, but I still know a good chunk of the lore behind it. Then we had Metal Fight, which was my whole era of Beyblade, because I loved Beyblade, especially with like the metal tops and just them clashing together. And lastly was kind of like my fallout with the franchise, which was Beyblade Burst. Don't get me wrong, I love Beyblade Burst, I love the characters, I love the Beyblades themselves, I love the whole burst function. I just started losing a bunch of interest the moment when main characters kept switching around between Vault and Aiga and I can't even name the rest of them because there's so many now. Who was that last guy? Drum? I don't know. I'm lost. But now we're in a new era, a new generation. We are in Beyblade X. Oh, I totally forgot to mention Shogun Steel, but that's still Metal Fight. Looking at the box, we have Sword Dran, the 360F. Don't make fun of me guys, this is new to me. I, I don't know the whole Beyblade X system. At the bottom right, Takara Tomi. This actually really surprised me because Takara Tomi is, if you guys don't know, the Japanese producers for Beyblade when they come to releasing merchandise. And Hasbro is the American company. Here it goes, includes one Beyblade, one light launcher. That looks like a very small light launcher. I suppose this means something in Japanese, but I just don't know what it is. Let it rip. Oh, that's clever. We'll get to what this is, but let's go to the back of the box. You see, Sword Dran 360F, attack type, rotates to the right. I wonder if we got into left rotating bay yet for this series. I'm sure we did. Anyways, Sword Dran, attack 55, defense 25, stamina 20. Yeah, well that makes a lot of sense because it's an attack type, but either way, I don't think these attributes really matter. Ratchet, I'm guessing this is like the middle piece of the Beyblade. Attack, 15. Defense 9, Stamina 6, Height. Wait, oh dang, that, that also defines the height? I thought it would have been on the performance tip. Anyways, Bit. Oh, I guess they're calling it Bit now. Anyways, Bit is pink, 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 oh, oh, it's called F. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, the Ratchet's called 360. All right, now we're gonna get into this Let It Rip section. Um, I suppose you just grab from here and you literally, oh. And then you you literally just you you let it rip. Look at you you. Well, that's that's cool packaging and all, but that's so easy to just like go into a Walmart and then just rip that off and then you steal whatever this is inside. I'm going to jail. All right, there's our ratchet and our bit. Now we have the rip cord. I want to see how this changed. Is the rip cord? It kind of looks like the standard Dakar Tomy light launchers for the Metal Fight Saga, and. The light launcher too. Oh, there's wow, there's three prongs now? Dang, how far we evolved. Next up we got the instructions. I don't think these really matter unless like the Beyblade came with stickers. But the piece of resistance. Okay, I think oh, oh that's clever packaging. I like this. You literally just pull from there and out goes the Beyblade. My goodness. You know, for a new generation of Beyblade, which usually I'm not typically a fan of whenever stuff changes a lot, this actually looks pretty cool. There's a QR code. I guess you guys can scan that. Is the Beyblade app still a thing? Oh, I don't know, but here, in case you guys didn't get a clear look, there's the QR code. The 
front. You can see it says Beyblade X in the logo. Focus camera, there we go. And I like how it has the little detail of the arrows pointing to the right, meaning that's a right rotation bay. Right off the bat, I'm getting Valkyrie vibes because of the way how this thing is shaped. Um, let's assemble this Beyblade and I'll pretty much give a side-by-side -side comparison to the other Beyblades of the generations. Actually, hold on a moment. Before we assemble the Beyblade, let's go over the ratchet. This is 360. Seems like a pretty basic ratchet. It always makes sense because it's the starter Beyblade and, well, the main character's Beyblade. It looks like it has teeth. If I'm correct, Beyblade X is supposed to be a mixture of a lot of the Beyblade features from previous series generations. It's a combination of all the other previous series of Beyblades and just mashed into one, basically. So this is supposed to represent Metal Fight. This is supposed to represent the burst system, I, I presume. And uh, the, I don't know what this is. Here's the bit. Obviously, it's an attack type. I'm presuming this is the performance tip area. It only makes sense that it's super flat because as many of you guys know in previous Beyblade systems where there's an attack type usually it starts with a flat performance tip because it goes really fast around the stadium okay so after reading the instructions it turns out you get your you get your what's this called again you get your ratchet you place it down and you give it a twist determining on whatever rotating bay you have and then this literally just there boom your Beyblade's assembled here's the Beyblade fully assembled and now we'll get into the comparison all right guys here we are starting from oldest to newest notice how this is the only white beyblade compared to the others that are blue it doesn't matter these two are dragons but there's a really a current theme when it comes to being the main character in beyblade you have to have an attack type starting from our far left we have storm dragoon this is literally my oldest beyblade you can see just the aging on the plastic Lost a couple stickers, I even tried replicating one of them. Jeez. I'm surprised I even had this to this day. Next up, my pride and joy, Storm Pegasus. Worn out rubber flat. Then we have our old but not too old Victory Valkyrie. Still the starter of the Beyblade Burst franchise. Worn out variable bottom. And now we have this sword dran, sword, sword, dra, dra, sword, dragon, sword. I haven't been keeping up with the anime too much because obviously the last thing I ever watched was Beyblade Burst. But let's test this guy out. Okay, we're gonna try out the new dragon, sword, dran, Beyblade. Here we are, light launcher. I was gonna say light launcher too, but I gotta do this at a very uncomfortable angle. Anyways, I found my tripod. But three, two, one, let it rip. So as you guys can see, pretty fast around the stadium. So it's only right that we put him against another Beyblade, so we're gonna put him against Big Bang Pegasus. We're gonna see how this goes. Very aggressive around the stadium. I don't know if this is really the proper stadium to be using. Because I know that Beyblade X has a very specific stadium, but we're still gonna test it out and see. All right, well, that was very one-sided. Let's take it down a notch. We're gonna have him go up against Galaxy Pegasus of the Metal Master Saga. All right, three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh. Three, two, one, go shoot. Shoot. Huh. Okay. Next up, we're going to put him up against Victory Valkyrie. This might be a very bad idea because this guy has nothing but metal contact, but hopefully Victory Valkyrie won't break. That, it didn't even make contact. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop it right there. I would put him up against Storm Dragoon, but this is obviously a very old, outdated Beyblade and I don't want it to, to break anything. But yeah, this is my review on the new Beyblade X system. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys wanna see more Beyblade videos, which I don't know if you guys will, 
uh, leave a like, comment, and let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see more. I don't know if I'm really going to get into this new Beyblade X franchise, but if you guys want to see more nostalgic stuff with Beyblade, I'm, well, I'm a huge fanatic with the metal fight system, so yeah, that'll be cool. Anyways, that's today's video. It's been Zach, and peace out.